Hello, I'm Dr. Heather Wild, and in the spirit of the 25th anniversary of a car wreck that almost wrecked my life, I'm going to share with you my story of self-care and self-love as we move into Valentine's Day season so that you can love yourself so you are better able to love others. I'm going to read to you from my book that was recently published, and I think it'll be fun, like a little audible, because I dedicate this book to you. May you dedicate the reading of this book to your past and future selves, to the self you were who created where you are now, to the mistakes, trauma, and trials that inspired you to search for more and find solutions to your pain, and the person you choose to be here, now, at this moment, and every day forward, because that person will determine your life's trajectory and journey. May you sing and dance, laugh and love along the way, no matter the chaos around you. For growth is never comfortable, and it is necessary to he heal deep, unconscious aspects of yourself to live the life you dream of. May you commit to your hero or heroine's journey and recognize that your scars are beautiful. They are proof of your capacity to heal. Part one, it is all about you. Four years ago, I blew up my life. After crying and lying around in my own misery for a few years, I committed to the process outlined in this book. And I continued to do the work and I'm living my best life most of the time. You can too, if you implement the processes and knowledge shared in this book. You were born into the most magnificent machine in the known universe and no one told you how to take care of it properly. For that reason, consider this book as a, use, a user's manual for your optimal quantum powered mystical meat suit wellness. Reading this book will be one of the best health decisions that you've ever made because it is an innovative guide to health and vitality and a compilation of the best resources available to survive and thrive in the 21st century. You have begun an incredible choose your health adventure and have the opportunity to make the most important commitment of your life, the commitment to be healthier, happier, and more invested in your wellness. Implementing what you learn in this book will treat the three main causes of chronic disease and accelerated aging, stress, inflammation, and toxicity. This book was designed to accompany the Wild Vitality Detoxification Program, the most advanced detoxification for wellness course that you can do in the comfort of your own home without a prescription. <laughs> The knowledge shared in this book is powerful and effective when you apply what you learn to your daily life, even without the full course. Here's a little bit about me. My name is Dr. Heather Wild. I'm a naturopathic medical doctor who's been practicing environmental and functional medicine for 20 years. Jeez. This book is a compilation of what I learned in the laboratory of my own body while researching difficult patient cases, writing articles, consulting with patients, and studying with some of the most brilliant minds at the forefront of 21st century medicine. If you want more energy, better sleep, a more positive outlook on life, an improved mood, mental clarity, balanced hormones, less pain, regulated digestion, an optimally functional hormonal and immune system, and a healthier, stronger, more beautiful body, read on. If you commit to this process and take action, trust me, it will revolutionize your life. Chapter one, I love this chapter. Become embodied and discover yourself. What does it mean to live your best life? Do you even know? For most of my life, I didn't. I was running from one lover to another, jumping jobs, letting the bridges I burned light my way, drinking and playing cards every night of the week, suppressing my emotions with addictions, barely paying attention to when I was hungry, thirsty, in pain, upset, or tired. Eventually, I developed a crazy heart arrhythmia. Much of my hair fell out. I started having hot flashes and uncontrollable panic attacks. It was a wake-up call I could no longer ignore, and I decided it was time to stop believing I was invincible. 
I looked at my life and saw that if I wanted to have a healthy, happy, and fulfilling second half of my life, it was important for me to actually do some self-analysis, self-care, and self-love, or my body would become a prison. I've done the work. I've walked the walk, and I can share my wisdom gathered from almost killing myself with work, unhappiness, stress, and bad habits. Lucky you. If I could choose one concept for you to fully integrate and apply from this book, it would be for you to be present with your body. Pay attention to you. Pay attention to how you honestly feel when you do certain behaviors. When you increase awareness around how you've created your current results, you can commit to creating something different. When you consciously respond to hardships differently, more positively, you reprogram yourself with an upgraded default operating system designed to ensure your success. Be unabashedly embodied. Recognize what you've created for yourself. Recognize that you do have the power to get different results. Set your intention and do something different. How do you feel? What do you like? Who do you want to be? What do you want? It's okay to not have the answers now, but I promise you the answers will come to you. I recently recognized that I did everything our culture told me to do. Expecting that I should be happy. I went to an Ivy League school, got a doctorate in an innovative scientific service service field that revolutionizes lives. I started a business. I married a tall, handsome doctor got purebred dogs, started a family, worked a lucrative corporate job, wore designer clothes, and drove a safe car. I was walking with my son and his father along the beach in Orange County in 2017. And I said to my son's father, I understand why the French say, je suis content. I am happy. I was content. I mean, everything was nice. It was all fine. Pretty okay. And less than a year later, my life had blown up. I lost my corporate job. I was sued twice, started a new business. My brother was hospitalized. My dog died. I had a huge falling out with my family. My cat died. My doctor found precancerous lesions, and I filed for divorce. It was like the universe said, content? No way, girl. You want to say, laissez les bons temps rouler. Let the good times roll, chérie. The journey to the other side of that experience was not easy. There were times of extreme despair, and I sat in my backyard, got high, and compulsively read fantasy romance novels for more days than I would like to admit. I didn't eat, move, or feel hope or excitement, and I was alone and isolated most of the time. In hindsight, the experience helped me to erase many of the layers and masks I had built over my true self. And when I chose to peel them off one by one, I unveiled my more authentic self and I became someone else. I became authentically, bravely me. I created a new life, one that evolves more and more into my best life. I can honestly feel gratitude for the bad and the ugly because I proved to myself the truth of what doesn't kill you really does make you stronger, if you choose to allow for it to do so. I got real with myself about whether I wanted to lie down, give up, take prescriptions for anxiety, depression, and fibromyalgia, and numb out in mediocrity and artificial reality for the rest of my life. Or did I want to get up, examine my shadow, make different choices, and embrace every moment of this incredible miracle called life? If you open yourself up to the experiences of your life, unadulterated by booze and screens, food and porn, prescriptions, Netflix, shopping, drama, and social media, you will eventually be awed by what you see in the mirror. It is indeed beautiful. I hope that you are present with yourself when you look in the mirror, literally and figuratively. And may you have the courage to go to the dark places that scare you, 
to shine the light of love and forgiveness and to let go of your old story. I hope you let go of your old life with gratitude and become brave enough to create something that makes your heart sing. I wish for you to wake up in the morning and feel something to the effect of, hot damn, I get another day of awesomeness and adventure and juicy, amazing, authentic moments. And I feel so good and I am excited to see what this day brings to me so I can learn more about who I am and how I'm consciously creating my life. Most of the time, anyway, and sober. <laughs> I heard somewhere that life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you choose to react to it. And it can be a shit-tastic fucknado that you find yourself in. Choose wisely. Choose happy. Choose healthy. Choose to live your best life. If you are having health issues, your body is trying to communicate that something is out of balance. And if you don't pay attention to it and change your behavior, it will get worse. It isn't as simple as driving a different car, getting a new job, or starting a new love affair. It's about building a relationship with yourself, committing to yourself, and taking care of your health and happiness. Your body is sending you signals. Decipher the code it's transmitting. Pick up what it is putting down. Right now, my body's telling me I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling. My friend, Dr. Ana Kate Cassio says, the body is always telling you something. Nine times out of 10, you're ignoring it. Remember, no one else can fix or heal you. Your health adventure depends on you and only you. I designed this process to empower you to take control of your health and body with deceptively simple lifestyle changes, coupled with knowledge of emerging medical research. This combination will transform your entire life for the better. You will be clearer, more confident, truer to yourself and your dreams, and probably more authentic than you have been since you started learning to please others before you please yourself. When you choose all in, this is a life-altering journey. As a practicing naturopathic physician and functional medicine doctor for 20 years, I've seen diseases become more complicated and difficult to resolve. People have higher levels of toxicity, more emotional stress, and rampant inflammation. Chemical toxicants and pollutants are everywhere. It can be overwhelming and even demoralizing when you start to pay attention. You may have heard about toxins and detoxes, but the more appropriate term is toxicant when referring to chemicals from industrial sources. Bacteria, molds, and other living organisms make toxins, and chemical companies make toxicants. Harmful toxic exposures that affect modern people aren't just restricted to chemical forms. You are inundated with toxic influences from social interactions between friends, family, frenemies, and strangers, as well as physical exposure to radiation and electromagnetic frequencies. Forget what you've heard from very expensive marketing teams. Deep, effective detoxification is not just a simple matter of going on a juice diet, taking a magic pill, or putting your feet in a detox bath. Really shifting your life in a meaningful and discernible way will need you to re-examine the kind of life you're living and conduct a complete detoxification of your experience. By using a holistic method to detox, you will be able to live life to the fullest, break free from all that does not serve your highest and best, and enjoy vibrant health so you can move confidently in the direction of your dreams with clarity and power. It is my belief that we are all on this planet to live lives that bring our hearts joy and fulfillment. I think we all have something unique that will bloom out of our experiences and add to the tapestry of humanity as a whole. I became a doctor because I believe that people deserve to thrive. If you can assist a person to shift their experience of their life into a more positive one, you improve an entire universe of experience. 
You are a product of your genetics and environment. And the sad truth is that you have probably allowed cultural mores, learned patterns, and negative mindsets to grow unchecked and create a default operating system that has clouded your view of your purpose. It is no surprise that you may be simply going through the motions, hour to hour, day to day, and moment to moment, you move through life with no clear direction, no real engagement, trying to survive and wrestle some shallow happiness out of your existence. I invite you to choose a different adventure. Choose to cut through the fog. Choose to overcome your past trauma and write a new story. Bask in the sunlight of purpose, clarity, health, vitality, and meaning. You only live once, in this body anyway. So why not choose to make it your best life?